Hey guys, in this video we are going to talk about the concept of virtual environment in Python. So different Python projects may sometime require a different version of a specific third party library. So for example, one Python application might require NumPy 1.14.0 whereas some other application might require NumPy 1.15.0. Now, there may be multiple reasons for it. It might be due to a particular bug in some older version which got resolved in a newer version of a library. Or it may also be due to um, a library requiring only a certain version of another library as a dependency. So there might be multiple reasons for it. So it might not be possible for a single Python installation to meet the requirements of all the applications that you have. For example, um, you, if you have three applications and first application requires Python 3.6, another one requires 3.6, but third one requires 3.7, then how are you going to deal with that? Because you have a single Python installation. Also, you might need Django and NumPy as the version 1.09 and 1.14, but in some other application you might require 1.11 and 1.15.0. So these kind of cases arise when you have different different applications with different requirements so the solution to this problem is virtual environment a virtual environment is a self-contained isolated environment which contains the python installation for a particular version of python plus a number of additional packages so now different applications can use different virtual environments so that is what we are going to see how to create a virtual environment um, in python right so without any delay let's get started okay so the first thing that we are going to do here is that we have to learn how to create a virtual environment first of all before we start using it right so now there are multiple ways of creating a virtual environment if you are using python 3.4 or less then you have you will have to use a third party library called virtual env you can install it like this um, pip install virtual env so virtual env is a python um, third party library which helps you to um, install your um, this which helps you to create virtual environments okay and other than that after 3.4 there is a module in python's built-in modules which can create a virtual environment directly and how do you do that for doing that all you have to do is python or python 3 then hyphen m and then you have to write venv so venv is the name of the uh, module which we're going to use it's a built-in module and then you have to provide the name of the virtual environment that you want to have right so let us see where where are we going to create a virtual environment so i have on my desktop a sample project which i call as my project which contains a sample file called test.py if i just try to see my current working directory i mean my project only and let us try to see the contents of test.py so it is a very simple um, python script which is importing the numpy library and then trying to print the numpy version let me just check what is the numpy version that i'm using right now um, i will have to just do python 3 test.py and i get the version as 1.15.1 right but now let's say the problem is that i want to have the version 1.14.0 right so how will i do that so now um, in order to create a virtual environment as i told you there are two ways the first way through the virtual env is that you have to write virtual env and then the name of your virtual environment for example my when so this will create a simple virtual environment for you uh, in your project folder but if you have more than python 3.4 like python 3.4 5 or 6 or 7 even then in that case what you have to do is python 3 or simply python if you have that alias set for python 3 hyphen m venv and then some name for your virtual environment which i'm calling as my venv so now let us see what happens look at that a folder got created in my project uh, whose name is my venv and let us try to see what it contains look at that it contains a new python executable for me there is a new python executable with all the built-in python libraries modules and also pip so all these things are now uh, contained in this particular directory right so my when is my virtual environment similarly if you try to use virtual env and then give the name to your virtual environment it will similarly create a new virtual environment for you so now the thing is that how do i use it right so in order to use it on linux or mac systems what you have to do is source then the name of your um, virtual environment then bin 
then activate so this will activate the virtual environment for you and look at that something like this will appear this shows that right now um, you are using a virtual environment which is the name of the virtual environment here my win but if you are on um, let's say windows then what you have to do is you have to do um, my win then you have to do script scripts and then activate dot bat so this complete um, command will in the terminal uh, in your project directory will um, activate your virtual environment in windows systems so now we are ready to use um, our virtual environment so now if you remember a virtual environment is nothing but a very simple python executable right so let us try to run our test.py file now let us see what happens look at that it gave me an error saying that no module named numpy why is there no module named numpy because we are not using our default python installation where i had earlier maybe earlier installed numpy right using pip now i am in a virtual environment it is a fresh environment it doesn't contain uh, numpy so how do i install numpy i have to install it like this pip install numpy and then i can also specify the particular version that i need let's say i need this version so now let us see what happens so now it is going to install numpy in okay that's a very weird progress bar but we are going to deal with it so it is not going to install um, i think it's because of the size of my yeah so let it install so it is installing numpy for me and in a few seconds it will be done <laughs> it's quite funny right okay so we are done with it it seems installing the collected packages numpy and yeah we have installed numpy so let us try to run um, our test.py again and look at that we get the numpy version as 1.14.0 which means that we have installed another version of numpy in our desktop so the default python installation had a version of numpy equal to 1.15.0 but in our virtual environment we have numpy with a version 1.14.0 so in this way we have um, done what we needed right so this is how do it now another thing uh, another interesting thing to note here is that let's say um, I have a Python project and I have installed a lot of third party libraries in it and now I want to keep track of what libraries and what versions of those libraries have I installed then how do I do that in order to do that what I can do is I can do pip freeze so pip freeze is a pip command which provides you the details of all the um, Python libraries that you have installed python third party libraries that are present in your um, virtual environment so look at that i just wrote pip freeze and it gives me the names of all the libraries that i have and now i can write them in a very simple file called requirements.txt right like this so i'm just um, putting the result of pip freeze to requirements.txt and look at that a file called requirements.txt got created in my project folder and now if i just try to see the contents of requirements.txt look at that it contain, contains those contents so in this way you can always create a very nice looking requirements.txt file which contains all the requirements related to your python project so once we are done with it now it's time to deactivate let us see how can we deactivate out of this virtual environment and look at that we have deactivated now one thing that might come to your mind is that what if i want a different version of python by default i have python 3.6 on my system when i write python 3 but what if i want to create a virtual environment which has python 3.7 then how do i do that right so for doing that what you can do is uh, python 3.7 is the alias uh, for getting python 3.7 right so in your linux system or mac system you will have to install python 3.7 and then you can use the alias called python 3.7 which will open python 3.7 interpreter for you so now i want to create a virtual environment using this only then how can i do that all i have to do is python 3.7 hyphen m let me correct the spelling hyphen m venv and then the name of your virtual environment let me call it my venv3 and let us see what happens a new folder a new virtual environment got created whose name is my 3 and let me just try to activate it source my 3 bin 
activate and let us try to run python and look at that it is showing python 3.7.0 so in this way i am able to use uh, a new virtual environment which has another python version right so in this way we can create different types of virtual environments using um, either virtual env when you are using a python version uh, either using python 2 or python 3.4 or less and if you have more than python 3.4 like 3.5 6 7 then in that case you can use these kind of statements for creating your own virtual environments so i hope i hope the concept is clear if you still have any doubts you can put them in the comment section below that's it from this video thanks for watching